Okay. okay. We're rolling. You're rolling? Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Is there anything else you'd like to say? You know when you're uh, documenting someone and interviewing them, you should probably use conversational tones, Ryan, because if there's something else you'd like to say, it's kind of like, we're being recording you, and you should say something to the camera. Not, you should say something to Ryan, because if I was saying something to you, not to the camera, it'd be more natural. I'd like to take this moment to acknowledge all the people out there in the world listening in on a conversation. <laughs> I know you're not here now, but... See, what we've effectively done is created an in, like an unnatural, ungenuine conversation because I'm swinging the camera around and like pointing at your face. Well, you're, you're doing it in a conspicuous <coughs> so just now. That's true. You know... So would you rather have three cameras rolling at any time to be able to capture everything that goes on? I guess you have a higher chance of capturing a moment if there's multiple cameras, but like, I don't know, if you've only got one camera, then you have to use that one camera. He hides a microphone on you while you're sleeping. See, you don't even know you're <laughs> mic'd up. It seems to be like the, the ideal documentary is one that is very objective. <laughs> he's like hiding and he's like capturing audio there. And that way you like talk to the person and he doesn't know he's being filmed and you don't really know you're being filmed. It's, it's sort of impossible for that to happen when you are, you know, you are one director making your film through, let's say, one camera. And it's easy enough to forget that you're being filmed. See, I think in essence what I've been creating in the last... 15 minutes is is Kevin's experience and Kevin's thoughts because I'm just doing whatever I think I but should I have a do feeling, with camera. Yeah, but I have a feeling your like thoughts included things, things like, like, like what's this? the next shot I should it's go like, to? There's, there's stories, there's events, and things that happen, and in real life there are multiple people that are perceiving that mm -hmm. or experiencing that, and if you're just bringing in one camera or, you know, still camera or video, it's like you're only getting one perspective of that event or occurrence. I think it, I think what it really comes down to is knowing when to film and when not to film. Like you have to be just totally aware of everything that's happening in front of you or around you. Cut.